Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how as a fresher you can also start your journey in cyber security. So let's get started with that. And before that, I would love to introduce myself. I am a cyber security consultant and I'm currently working with one of the big fours in India. And uh, I will be sharing how I got a job in one of the big fours as a cyber security consultant without any, you know, previous experience with cyber security. Now, why you should be choosing cyber security? As you know, or maybe you don't know, but there is a shortage of 8 lakh cyber security prof professionals. And yeah, so there is a job demand out there, but we don't have enough people. And not only that, cyber security jobs are actually in high demand and they have good job security as well. And they're not very high paying, but they're decent paying. And actually as a fresher, it is decent paying, but as you go up the ladder, it is really high paying job as well. Now, how you can get started? So it starts with education, certification and some practical knowledge, right? Now for education, yes, they prefer people who have B-Tech, M-Tech education background in computer science or even any other like BSc in computer science. Computer science is something they prefer. So if you have any um, education history related to computer science, that will be a plus for you. In case you don't, don't get your heart small, but don't get disheartened is what I want to say. There are several ways, several certification and several per practical experience that you can gain and which will not actually affect from which education background you are coming from. But if you are choosing a path right now to get into cyber security and you want to understand what education you should get, then I would say B.Tech in computer science, if you start with that or M.Tech, that is the best thing. And actually, when you're doing B.Tech or M.Tech, you also have an option to select a minor or a major course within. So that time you can even select cyber security and that will actually help you a lot because you'll have prior knowledge about computer networks. Computer networks, I think, is taught when you are doing B.Tech, but you'll have deeper knowledge about cyber security as well. So these are some of the certifications which are quite popular in cyber security. Now, if you want to go into hacking and ethical hacking and penetration testing, CEH, OSCP, CCNA, CRTP, all of those options and others that I've mentioned are there. Now, um, yeah, CEH is the basic certification that you can get. It will give you a basic entry level job in the market. And OSCP is like the best certification that you can do in cyber security and I'm also actually aiming for this certification in the coming one or two years and yeah that is the best high demand certification I look into jobs while I'm searching if I'm searching or if I come across any job opportunities that are there listed on LinkedIn you see that right so when you come across those you will see that they require OSCP certification most of them so it is a high demand one and doing this certification will also get you high pay. That's one thing. Now, there are other areas of cybersecurity as well. I am part of the VAPT, so I have more knowledge towards that. But I'll also be trying to get more knowledge in the other domain areas as well to let and help you guys. Now, if you're wondering ISO certifications, you would see many products out there are ISO certified, companies are ISO certified. There's several ISO certifications out there that you can do for the audit purposes and come into that line. Yeah. Yes. So coming on to the internship part, as a fresher, you would like to have some practical knowledge, some internships done in this, in this field so that it is a plus for you when you go out in the job market trying to find a job. Maybe it's uh, even if it is uh, campus placement or non-campus off campus placement, you if you have done the internship, it will, you know, highlight your profile over others. For internship, you can go to LinkedIn, Internshala, Nokri.com. These are three of my, you know, favorite ones. I used to go when I was in college trying to find internships. Uh, 
while i did find a lot of internships on internchala and nokri.com is very helpful for linkedin i prefer it as a way to get referrals from people who are already there so i would see if there is any internship open in linkedin jobs see that company who all are working there at least message like 10 to 15 people from that same company try to get a referral that is how i mostly approach linkedin but for intern chala you can directly you know apply now they won't be very high paying internships like 40 50k you might find some but most of them will be 5k a month 6k a month or me even free uh, i would personally not suggest you to go for an internship you know where you're not getting paid because i because you will put your efforts i understand you'll get experience as well and i really vouch for it, that experience but i think you should also get paid some amount 500000 anything because at the end of the day it will make you good feel good so that is what i would suggest but it is up to you it's my personal opinion and then nokri.com is also there it has quite a big number of opportunities in startups and different companies out there like in intern chala so these two places where i kept my profile up to date i kept applying every day around 10 to 15 places i would apply for internship looking at the places that would match you know my skill sets or my knowledge even if i didn't have much knowledge i kept applying i kept giving different interviews and you will get selected doesn't matter if you're getting rejected at first trust me you will okay and apart from that actually you can get practical knowledge from different areas like portswiga labs is there i'm also solving these portswiga labs and putting these videos on youtube i will put the link above and even in the description box for you to check those out and you can also start solving labs on portswiga as a vap if you want to go ahead with vapt in web or any other domain also i'll try and start putting videos in other network and mobile areas as well but my current focus is portswiga labs and you can actually start with web i think web is something you should start with it will give you a basic idea of how pt is working and then you can move up with network and mobile apps as well now you should also be aware of the news so just keep yourself updated there are many i've mentioned them all here there are many websites or applications that will give you news about specific to cyber security so that way you'll be up to date you'll know some news in an interview or somewhere where you're getting a job if they ask you some question and suppose they ask you about xss and you read an article about xss which affected abc company for example and you mention that to them that yeah recently i saw this also it will give a good impression to that interviewer that yeah this person is actually aware of what is happening in the cyber security area also similarly you'll know about some technologies also new coming up technology new coming up vulnerabilities about different versions of maybe linux windows okay so that is a plus for you essential steps to begin your cyber security career like we discussed was gaining certification participating in cyber security competitions as well you can do that so there are some of the competitions i have mentioned name of them which are very popular in india you can look into them you can be part of it just keep the keep look at your website see when the competition is starting apply be part of it it will help you it will boost you know, maybe in the first competition you don't get even one thing done that's okay you'll get an experience you understand what and how these competitions are working first and then later in the coming days you apply more and more you wait for the new competitions coming on on these websites you will get an understanding of how the competition is working so that's one thing then apart from that there's one more tip that i would like to give like i gave for the internship part you should connect with more and more professionals that are out there in the same industry okay so like for which you can use linkedin of course linkedin you can go and search people who are working as a cyber security consultant or in the cyber security field in different companies maybe a product company maybe a consulting company and you can connect with them you can seek for mentorship and you can stay updated that way with different people and it will actually help you when you are looking out for a job for referrals you can look out to those people tell them about give them your resume 
tell them what all skills you have and that will actually help you yeah so that brings us to the last slide where i would like to conclude so what we understood you should have the basic knowledge of cyber security for which you can do different courses as well on youtube you can start your journey for free on youtube youtube is such a bless in that case you can get hands on experience from internship from competitions and even from different labs that are available like potswinger you can network with cyber security professional on linkedin and even on youtube you can find different cyber security professionals who are putting out videos or or people who are not even cyber security professionals but are you know teaching something that is also something you can look out for you can also obtain relevant certifications ceh oscp crtp iso certifications and then you can stay updated on all the new threats are that coming up you can use any of the websites that i mentioned and over the slides so thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you if you have any further doubts please comment it down below and i will surely help you with it so yeah thank you for watching have a nice day bye